hello, hello, brothers and sisters. How you doing out there? How you doing? Your brother Tony is in the house. How you doing, Sister Flo Harvey Martin? I see you. I see you. I see you. Come on in, brothers. Come on in, sisters, so you can get some of this good content tonight. You're going to really, really appreciate it. Those of you that really want to know about what are the main problems in a relationship, what normally cause a couple to break apart and go their separate ways, we're going to touch on some points tonight so you can avoid those pitfalls, my brother. So I'm going to show you how to look out for some red flags and how to avoid them. So be in the back. Of the room, my brothers and sisters, come close to the front. We got plenty of seats. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. And I'm looking forward to talking to you, brothers and sisters, tonight. Hopefully, what I can share with you, it can help you as far as maintaining a healthy and strong relationship. That's what I'm here for, my brother and sister. I have touched the stove for you, and I have got burnt. So some of the things I'm going to tell you, maybe it can help you so you won't touch the stove so you're, you won't get burnt. How you doing, Sister Sherry Smith? So come on in, brothers. Come on in, sister. We about to get into this good topic this evening. Got a few more seconds to allow a few more people to come in. And while you're coming in, my brother, sister, if there's anything that you want to say during the broadcast, feel free to say whatever you want to say. And you know, I'm going to try my best to make a, uh, a point to acknowledge your comment, okay? So come on in, come on in, come on in. So we're about to get rolling shortly. All right, all right, brothers and sisters out there, how you all doing this evening? Your brother Tony, again, is in the house. If this is your first time looking at the broadcast, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Tony M. Tuma, and I talk about relationship. I talk about relationship primarily of that between a man and a woman that should be serious, that should move to the commitment, and the commitment should convert to a covenant relationship. How you doing, Sister Twilight Robinson? I see your John Hancock down there. How you doing, Sister? Come on in, brothers. Come on in, Sister. Got a good uh, topic to talk about. When I say relationship between a man and woman, I strongly believe that in the beginning, God created the relationship between a man and a woman. When I said God created, God initially, he created the man, Adam. Second, secondly, he created Eve. He represented the woman to the man because the woman came out of the man. That being the rib, God formed the woman around the rib. He represented the woman back to the man. And in the presence of God, the man Adam said in regard of Eve, bone of my bone, flesh of my flesh, I should call a woman because she came from man. That's the position I come from. Now, if you believe in any other type of relationship, my brother and sister, you could do what is, how you doing, sister Kitty? If you believe in any other type of relationship, my brother and sister, you have what is called a free will. You can do whatever you choose to do. But if you look at this particular broadcast, I'm letting you know now, I talk about the relationship of a man and a woman from a biblical uh, perspective, but I want you to hang around. Maybe you could get something out of it, okay? With that said, let's get into tonight's topic. Tonight's topic, my brother and sister, is seven main reasons why most relationship between men and women don't work. There are seven Main reasons why a lot of relationships do not work, my brother and sister. Now, I want you to really listen to what I got to say. And maybe, hopefully, you uh, do not have to run into these type of points that I'm talking about. Maybe you have experienced some of the points that I'm about to go over. And hopefully, you don't experience them down the road because I'm going to put them right up in front of you. So, my brother and sister... These are seven main reasons why most relationships between a men and women don't work. And these are the seven main reasons. Now, as we are going to go to God's word first, and as we go to God's word first, how you doing, mother? As it is written in Amos 3.3, we're going to Amos 3.3. 3. That's Amos 3.3. 3. That's in the Old Testament. As it is written, can two walk together except they be agreed? How you doing, Sister Lisa Bond? Again, Amos 3.3, 3, it states, can two walk together except they be agreed? So what is the Bible saying? It means that when it comes to a relationship, 
the two people need to be on the same page. For example, if you go to the movies, you can go to a movie, and as we know, the typical movie has several screens in it, right? No man is going to take a woman to the theater, and once they get there to the main theater, it's one building, right, but they got different screens. It in no way he really going to go to the movie with a woman, and he pay for two different types of tickets. She go look at this movie, and he goes to uh, look at that movie. That that doesn't make any sense. So they agree before they when they get there. You understand what I'm saying? And that's just like if you get on a car, you're gonna if if a man taking a woman out to eat, they may talk about what they're gonna eat. Normally, the man and woman going to go to the same place to eat. It's not like the man gonna drop the woman off at this restaurant. And then he go to the restaurant that he likes. Then he pick her back up and they go home. That's, it. that's not normally. You see, normally it's an agreement. And that's the, the essence of what I'm going to talk about. A man and woman must be in agreement. In order to, for the relationship to grow, be strong. Because as we know, relationships, they go up and down, up and down. But hopefully, your relationship is steady. Now, you're going to have some hiccups a long way because you got an imperfect man and an imperfect woman. So, the number one reason, now these are not in no particular order. I just want to let you know these aren't in any particular order. But the number one reason why most relationships, not all, but most relationships don't work uh, between a man and woman is it is not wise for a man or a woman to chase one another. It's not wise. There are some men that like for women to chase them. There are some women that like from uh, men, to, you know, there's some women that like men to chase them and then there are some men that want women to chase them. This type of stuff, my brother and sister, first of all, is very, very immature. When a man is chasing a woman, and a woman chasing a man is very immature because you get into what is called stupid mind games or tests. These are stupid mind games or tests. Why would you want to run after a man, sister? In the Bible, the Bible approach is not about chasing a man. Brother, why would you want to run after a woman? In the Bible, that's not the approach how you get with a woman. If you if you running after something, that means somebody trying or something or somebody trying to get away from it. You do not, and you see the world. This is how the world is, especially in the United States of America. When you're looking at movies and TVs and everything, they always. And I can give you a good example. Look at Lifetime and that other channel. They always have it where the man is running after the woman, always. And then when you look at it. Let's talk about some of uh, musicians and football players and basketball players. You got women running after men. You see, when you're running after a person, it's something that you want from that person. It's not the person that you really want. It's something that that person has that you want to obtain. When anytime, how you doing, sister or Chang Chang? Anytime a man is running after a woman, how you doing, my little sister? Now, it's not that. The man want you, sister. It's something that you have that he wants. Brother, listen to me, Kev. I mean, sister, listen to this. When you run it after a man, it's not him that you want. It's something that he has that you want. You understand? So it's very childish and it's very immature for a man to run after a woman. And it's very immature for a woman to... Uh, run after man because whoever doing the chasing, listen to me carefully, whoever doing the chasing, you lose the game. You put yourself, anybody who chasing, that means that brother, if you chasing a woman, you putting this woman on a pedestal. Sister, if you chasing a man, you put him on a pedestal. You never put a man or a woman on a pedestal. Change said the world is crazy and wrong. It's not right and right is wrong. Not in my word. That's right, Chan Chan. Thank you for that. Number two, what is the second reason why most relationships between men and women don't work? The second reason is unrealistic expectations. Unrealistic expectations. The man expects for the, a woman to be a certain way. 
a woman expect for the man to be the certain way. And that comes to the unrealistic expectation that come to it. it it's uh, basically you are equally yoked. Because you both got unrealistic expectations, so you really are equally yoked. That means that you lack on these five principles. And the five principles I have told you all this before, I call them forms. F-O-R-M-S. F-O-R-M-S. Form. And each one of these letters stand for something. So keep in your mind forms, like a form that you fill out. Just abbreviate, I mean, just put a period behind each letter. F period, O period, M period, M, I mean, F period, O period, R period, M period, S. These are the five most important things in a relationship. It comes to F mean, what is that man and woman view on family? O mean occupation. Somebody got to work, the bills got to uh, get paid. Primarily, brother, you got to work, and if the woman, she needs to be a help me. R, religion, what do you both believe in? You got to be on the same accord. M, money, you need money to operate, not love money. You like what money could do for you. And S is sex. Those are the five important aspects of a relationship. So a lot of men and a lot of women, they have unrealistic expectations. You see, a man got this blueprint of how he want a woman to be. A woman have the blueprint how she, I think a man is supposed to be, but if you evo but if you put God in the mix, God would decide what uh, woman you supposed to look for, brother, and find. It's also so to God going to have you prepared to be in the in the right situation, in the right place for the man to find you. Number three, the number, th the third reason why most relationship between men and women don't work is because either the man or the woman, or both, they take each other for granted. That's right. The man, or the woman, or both, they take one another for granted. When you take a person for granted, that means like you could do whatever you want to do. You really disrespect the person. You don't care nothing about that, what that person uh, think. You don't care how that person feel. What you're going to do, you're going to do whatever you want to do because the world revolves around you. Most people that take their mate for granted are narcissists. And we know what a narcissist is. A narcissist is a person, it could be man or woman, that thinks the world revolves around him or her, and it's all about me, myself, and I. It's about making me happy. The narcissist does not think about making another person happy. So more than likely, what really brings a relationship to a halt is somebody get taken for granted, and eventually that person that is being taken uh, for uh, advantage or normally that person going to get tired of it, and more than likely down the road, it could be way down the road, 20 or 30 years, but one day a light going to go off, and that person that being taken for granted, if it's a good man or woman, he or she going to eventually bounce. And the man or woman that was doing the taking the granted of that person, he or she, they're going to find out that Everything out there in the world wasn't what they really thought. They always thought that that person was going to always be there. And they always thought that that person was going to take all that manure that was thrown in the face. Number four, one of the reasons why relationship doesn't last between most men and women is, number four, brothers and sisters, you got to understand this. Sisters, listen first, sister. A man can't read your mind. Brothers, a woman can't read your mind. This is very immature. You got some men and you got some women that thinking you should know what to do. Men and women do not come into this world with a blueprint of what it takes to have a successful relationship. Once a man understands that he does not know how to love a woman, how he needs to love her, and once a woman understands she does not know how to respect the man, how she needs to respect him, you don't have no blueprint, brother. She doesn't have no blueprint. Mm -hmm. That also goes to show, that goes back to uh, unrealistic expectation. You understand what I'm saying, my brother and sister? But you got to understand, brother, if you want her to know something, open your mouth and talk. Sister, listen to me carefully. If don't think he know what you need or want all the time, you got to open your mouth. Don't think that a person, 
just assume that, that your mate doesn't have karma sense. Just think like, he or she doesn't have common sense. Even though they have common sense, you need to tell him or her, if it's something that you need, brother, from that woman, if you need something from her, tell her. Because she might, she might do it. She might innocently don't know what you need. And also, sister, you need to open your mouth and tell him. He don't know what you need all the time. Open your mouth. Even this. Just look at it this way, my brother and sister. Even God know what we all need and God know what we want. But guess what? God wants us to come to him and, and talk. You understand? So if God wants us to come to him and ask him for stuff, and you see, we could say, well, God know everything. Yes, he knows everything. But that same God wants us to come to him and tell him what we need. So no man or no woman is in the position of God, so we were made in God's image and likeness. So it's just like this. Sister, if you need something from that man, like you go to God and you pray to God for your need, you need to tell that man. Also, brother, like when you need something from God, you need to go to that woman and tell her something that she needs. Nobody can read the other person's mind. Number five, and this is crucial, one of the more... One of the reasons why most men and women relationship don't work because you keep other people in your business. You keep other people in your business. Keep your relatives out of your business. Keep your co-workers out of your business. Keep social media out of your business. And the thing about social media, my brother and sister, why would a lot of brothers and sisters, why would you go to social media and spread the news over social media? Don't you know that, my brother and sister, whatever you put out is out there? You can't retract it. You can't retract it. And it's this, it's this simple, and it's like ele elementary. That was Sherlock Holmes would tell Watson, elementary. It's just like this. Whatever you text in your phone to someone, even though you delete it, it's not gone. It's on the hard drive. That's why when something happened in a case, the police, they want to get those telephone records. It didn't go nowhere. Let me tell you something, my brother and sister. When you type something on your computer and you hit send, you may recall the email. You may recall that email back and you may delete it. But guess what? It's on the hard drive. It didn't go nowhere. So what I'm saying, brothers and sisters, when you tell your family something about your mate and you think they're just going to drop it, majority of the time they're not going to drop it. You can go and tell them some foul stuff about your mate. You and your mate get chummy chummy again and lovey lovey and your relative remember what you said to him or her about your mate. And then they start looking at your mate a side eye, right? You tell your co-worker, your co-worker probably don't really know your mate and they basically going to uh, go by your word anyway, which is your mate is in a behind the eight ball, and then you want to go to social media. When you go to social media and tell all these people your what's going on in your relationship, and you want to get unsolicited advice from some people that are in messed up relationships, don't have a relationship, going through a series of relationships, coming out of bad relationship. You asking a whole bunch of people, like on Facebook, where it said your friends, just because it said friend, that don't mean that, that your friends. They might not even be your associate. Uh, most of the people that are on social media, you don't talk to them anyway. You may talk to a small few people, but you don't talk to all of them. Even though it said friend, majority of them, not even your associates. No matter how many people you quote unquote got friends with, they're not your friend. They're not even your associate. An associate is someone that you did, you have business or something with and you talk to them. But you're the people you don't. So when you go to social media and tell people about your mate and you're trying to get his or her opinion, they don't know, a majority of them don't know what they're talking about and you're giving them a free show. Don't do that. You put other people in your business and that could cause a rip in your relationship. Number six, the number six reason why most relationships don't work. Listen to what I'm about to say. Don't hear me, my brother and sister. Listen to what I'm about to say. Most, one, the sixth reason is the man or the woman have become emotionally 
and are physically connected with someone else. Brother, you have became emotionally involved with another woman. Sister, you have become emotionally involved with another man. What do I mean by that? You sharing your hopes, you sharing your dreams, your every your life with another person more than you sharing with that person that you're supposed to be in a relationship with. You never supposed to share the essence of your being with another person besides your mate. Some of you talk too much about your relationship. You tell other people about secrets in your relationship. Some of you brothers, some of you brothers, you go telling other women, you unload on the other women about your woman at home. You telling her everything about your woman. And some of you sisters, y'all bad too. You go and tell the other men all about your man. Let me tell you this. Brother, when you go and tell the other women about your other woman, and if that woman wants you, you know what she's going to do? She's going to, you tell, you giving her a plan of how to get you out of the house. Because she's not going to do what your woman doing at home if you're not lying. And let me tell you something, uh, sister, on this point. A lot of men, they act like they're having a pity party at home to tell you because they want you to feel sorry for them. A lot of men, a lot of men lie to you, sister, when they got a relationship at home. They tell you stuff like, me and my mate is not sleeping together. She sleep in one room, I sleep in another room. We don't do nothing together. And then you look at Facebook and all that kind of stuff, you see them out, out in the world doing stuff. You see them in public doing stuff, but that same man and that same woman, they're together, but he coming to you lying about his, his woman and him, okay? And then, some of you sisters, you go and telling the other men about your business, and I have said this so much before. Some of you sisters, I have told you over and over again, I'm going to tell you tonight, most men do not want to hear what you're talking about when it comes to your man. Uh, Sister Chain said, my mother told me that in my seven at an early age, if people know your business, it's because you told them your business. Amen, sister. That's right. And let me tell you something, sister. Some I have told you this over and over again. If some of you sister, if you're single and you're not in a relationship with no one, you are safe, right? But if you get in a relationship with someone, then you start opening up to another man and telling him stuff. Uh, listen to me carefully, sister. Open your ears and take the wax out of your ear. Other men don't want to hear about your, your man. All other men want to know about, they don't want to hear. They want, they want to see and they want to feel. They want you to open your legs like that. That's what most men want to do. They don't want to hear nothing about your man. What they want to hear is that you and your man are having problems. The more problems that you have, the more they know you're going to come to them. You understand? And when a man and a woman is emotionally involved with a member of the opposite sex and they're opening up, sharing their hope, dreams, and their disappointment, the next thing it leads to is the physical. So now, brother, you have got emotionally involved with a woman. Now you have a sex with her. So now you have some, some hot passion, right? You letting your, you letting your steam off. Some of you sisters, you doing the same thing. You have opened up emotion to this man, and now you have a hot, passionate sex with him, right? You brothers that having sex with the other woman because you having a problem with your woman per se. Some of you sisters that got this little thing with this other man because you you talk about your man at home. Then now you get from the emotional to the physical part, but it starts first in your mind. You see, your mind, brother, sister, you decide to go with that person, that, that other person. You mentally decide to do it. After you mentally decide to do it, keep in mind how you do it. You mentally decide to do it. That's your mind, your thinking. So once you mentally decide to do it, you go to the will part. Then you will do it. You will tell him or her what's going on in your home. Then after you tell them, you see, you go from your thinking, then you go to your will, then you go to your feeling. You start getting attached to them. You look forward to texting them every day. You look forward to calling them every day. 
You get you get to the point where you want to see them every day. That's when you really hook. That's when you really hook. When you want to talk to that other man every day. When you want or that woman. When you want to uh, contact them every day, every day, several times a day. Then you want to see them several times a day, especially if you're in the same city, because you have got mentally, you willfully. You emotionally, then the body follow next. The body follow next. Now you in a full-fledged relationship with someone, then your relationship more than likely going to come to an end. And the final reason why most relationship doesn't work is the man or the woman or both. The man, the woman, or both wanted to do it his or her way. He or she did not want to do it God's way. That's the clincher. Most relationships do, do, do not work between men and women because you want to do it your way instead of God's way. That's the bottom line for most relationships that, that a lot of people, they stay in relationship for years and years and years, but God is not in the equation. You understand how you're doing, Sister Bad? God is not in the equation. You want to keep doing it your way, right, brothers? You want to keep doing it your right, right, sister? And you're leaving God out. I know about what is, I know firsthand, brother and sister, what it is to uh, leave God out of relationship. I have been through some relationships that have failed, but I'm not a failure. I learned from it. Even though I failed a few times, I failed the test a few times. <coughs> but I'm a prime example, my brother and sister, where I was doing it my way. So what I'm trying to do, my brother and sister, it tell you the pitfalls of doing it your way. If you do it your way, my brother and sister, you are unwise. I was at one time unwise when I was trying to do it my way. But when I started doing it God's way, even though I fell down on my face, and sometimes I still fall down on my face, Sometimes, I know this is going to surprise a lot of you, brother and sister, mm -hmm. but don't you know sometimes I still make errors in my relationship? Do you not know that? I know I know some of you go ahead and get your tissue because I just disappointed you. You thought I was perfect, then you, brother and sister? You really thought I was perfect, right? I'm not. But let me tell you, my brother and sister, you need to understand this. You need to do it God's way. God is the one that created the man. God is the one that created the woman. Therefore, God knows what a relationship supposed to be. God knows what the responsibility for a man in a relationship and the woman. God knows what are the duties of a man and woman in the relationship. God knows what the boundaries in a relationship between a man and a woman. So God's way is the best way. If you do it God's way, my brother and sister, that will guarantee you a successful relationship. Even though you imperfect brother, even though you imperfect sister, if you do it God's way, it's going to work out. This is a recap. Remember the recap. Seven main reasons why a relationship between a man and woman don't work. Number one, the man and woman should not chase one another. That's very childish. It's immature. It's a part of stupid games and stupid tests. Number two, unrealistic expectation. You brother and you sister, you think you got these imaginary bullet points what a man and woman should do from the opposite set. Number three, you take one another for granted. Because you got a narcissist mindset. You think that that person going to always be there until they leave you one day. Then you're going to be crying. That's when you learn that the, uh, how how deep the water goes in that well, right? You don't miss the water to the real run ground. Because what you were doing, you were looking at the grass is green and well. And I have told you to my brother and sister, the green the grass, the more manure over there than all other people yard. Number four, you can't read other people's mind. You need to talk up. Tell that man or tell that woman what you need. If you don't, you're going to fail. Number five, keep other people out of your business. Keep it in-house. If you're going to tell anything about your problem, go to God first. No most of you brothers, most of you when you want to go to somebody else. 
You want to go to a human. Go to God first. Ask God what you need to do to help you in the relationship. That's you, brother, and you sister. Pray to God for it, that he give you wisdom, that he give you uh, knowledge, understanding, and discernment before you go to another pe person, your family, because your family going to know to be on your side. Listen to what I'm saying, my brother and sister. Your family going to know to be on your side. Your co-workers going to know to be on your side. Your Facebook friends, YouTube friends going to know to be on your side because they just listen to your side. Let me tell you something, my brother and sister. If a man and woman come telling you the business about what his or her mate doing, if you notice that they're going to tell you most about what he or she doing, they're not going to tell you about what they do that much. Check out the next person that come and tell you their business. See how much they talk more about your mate and they're not going to talk about it. See, uh, this go for men, especially women. Because a lot of women, so, sister, I hate to say this, but a lot of women, you you play like you're the victim all the time. There's a lot of men that play the victim, but sister, you play the victim a lot. When I say you, sister, I ain't talking directly about you, sister. You know, I'm just making a generalization. That man or that woman that come telling you about their business, those people, they're not being all the way legit. Because if a person come telling you his or her business, they should tell you what he, they do and what they don't do. So you can have it balanced. The only way you're going to have it balanced if you have both people in front of you. Uh, sick, don't be, a lot of people get emotionally and feeling connected with someone else other than their mate. And that take you down a whole nother road that could break up your home. And again, the final point is the man or the woman, they want to do it their way. That man or woman does not want to do it God's way. And that's where the relationship normally fails, my brother and sister. And guess what, my brother and sister? It's about time for me to get out. I love you, brothers. I love you, sister. I really do. Thank you so much for being a part of this show. Thank you so much for giving me your time. Thank you so much, my family. You my family, my brother and sister. Thank you so much because you could have been doing something there. I love you, brother. I love you, sister. Peace out.